This is a presentation of Taxiway Design Section 5, High Speed Exit Taxiways, by the Federal Aviation Administration. This section explains the geometry of high speed exit taxiways and discusses how to design high speed exits, including high speed exits with reverse turns. For dimensions and information about the best location for high speed exit taxiways along the runway, See Advisory Circular 150-5300-13, Airport Design. High-Speed Exit Taxiways – No Reverse Turn A high-speed exit taxiway is a special type of taxiway which is constructed to allow airplanes to exit the runway in less time and distance than is needed to slow to the speed necessary for a 90-degree turn. First. We'll discuss high-speed exit taxiways without reverse turns. The high-speed exit shown in this illustration does not include a reverse turn, meaning a turn from the exit taxiway to the direction opposite the landing direction. High-speed exit taxiways are for one-way traffic. They are not runway entrances or crossings. All high-speed exit taxiways form an angle of 30 degrees with the runway centerline, and the radius of the turn off the runway is always 1,500 feet. If the exit is similar to this one and does not include a reverse turn to the parallel taxiway, determine the runway centerline to taxiway centerline separation based on airspace requirements for the Aircraft Approach Category, Airplane Design Group, or ADG, and visibility minimums as detailed in the Airport Design AC. Tables in the Airport Design AC list the standard runway to taxiway separation dimensions. For example, for aircraft approach categories A and B, ADG3, the minimum distance between the runway centerline and parallel taxiway centerline is 300 feet for visual approaches, approaches not lower than 1 mile, and approaches with visibility minimums not lower than 3 quarters of a mile. The minimum distance between the runway centerline and parallel taxiway centerline for approaches with visibility minimums that are lower than three quarters of a mile is 350 feet. High speed exit taxiways with a reverse turn. To design a reverse turn to the parallel taxiway like the one shown here, you may need to increase the runway centerline to parallel taxiway centerline separation to accommodate the 30 degree exit turn and the following 150 degree turn that is necessary to achieve a nose gear steering angle of no more than 50 degrees for the taxiway design group or TDG. For each TDG, the AC lists the minimum and recommended runway centerline to taxiway centerline distance for standard high-speed exit taxiways that require a reverse turn. Runway centerline to taxiway centerline separation distances must never be less than airspace requirements. In addition to consulting the AC, check for separation distances based on the airspace requirements for visibility minimums, the aircraft approach category, and the ADG. The FAA Airport's website, www.faa.gov slash airports slash engineering slash airport underscore design, contains exit taxiway drawings designed according to the tables in the AC. The drawings include exits for typical combinations of TDG and runway centerline to taxiway centerline distances. They are in DXF format, which can be imported by most computer-aided design software. This illustration, a drawing available on the FAA website, shows a possible design for approach categories C and D airplanes. If the airplane design group is ADG3, then the minimum runway centerline to taxiway centerline distance based on airspace requirements is 400 feet. This distance only applies to TDG3 because airplanes in a higher TDG would require a nose gear steering angle of more than 50 degrees to negotiate the reverse turn. For example, for TDG4, to avoid exceeding the 50 degree steering angle in a reverse turn, the minimum distance must be 427 feet. 
The FAA recommends that this distance be increased to 450 feet, as shown in this drawing from the FAA website. Finally, if the airplane design group is ADG-5 and the airport elevation is above 6,560 feet, the minimum distance, once again based on airspace requirements, is 500 feet, as shown in this drawing from the FAA website. High-Speed Exit Taxiways – Special Cases Next, we'll discuss high-speed exit taxiways with special design requirements. Sometimes, the existing runway centerline to taxiway centerline distance is too tight to accommodate the minimum radius requirements of the 150-degree reverse turn using a 1,500-foot radius turn of 30 degrees off the runway. In these cases, retain the 1,500-foot radius exit curve and the 30-degree exit angle, but start the reverse turn before the 30-degree turn is complete. In this example, the taxiways are designed for TDG-5, and the taxiway centerline is only 400 feet from the runway centerline. To maintain a nose gear steering angle of no more than 50 degrees, the reverse turn must start at a point where the airplane has turned through only 27 degrees of the 30-degree turn off the runway. As shown here, this design results in a 153-degree reverse turn. See the FAA Airport's website for a design tool you can use to calculate the turn deltas and radii for high-speed exits. Finally, because airplanes exit at a speed higher than normal taxi speed, never design a high-speed exit to lead onto another runway. High-speed exits must always lead onto a parallel taxiway. Pilots expecting to encounter a parallel taxiway may not be able to stop in time, resulting in a runway incursion. This has been a presentation of Taxiway Design Section 5, High Speed Exit Taxiways, by the Federal Aviation Administration. Produced by Joint Venture Solutions.